In this video, I'm going to work out an individual limit. It's going to be a trig limit, and so we're going to want to recall that we do know that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1. So we will be using that fact um, to manipulate and work out this limit. All right, as with any limit problem, the very first thing you should do is a direct substitution to see what you have going on in the problem when you do that. All right, so as I plug 0 in here, I'm going to have sine squared of 0 all over 0 times cosine 0. All right, sine of 0 is 0, sine of 0 squared is 0, and 0 times cosine of 0 is again going to be 0. So we do have that indeterminate form going on with this. Okay, so now that means I need to take this and I need to try to manipulate the equation so that I can come up with a sine x over x if possible since I've got a sine in this problem. Now this sine squared x just means that I have 2 on top. So what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to choose to take this fraction and just write it as two fractions multiplied together. So I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0. I'm going to choose to use one of those signs and do sine x over x. And then I'm going to use the other sign, sine x over the cosine x. All right, so multiplying these two fractions, I would have this original rational function up there. And so I know that I have equivalently broken this up into something that is legit. Now, I am multiplying two limits here. So I can take the limit individually of each one of these. So I can do the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x times the limit as x approaches 0. Now on this one, I've got sine over cosine. At this point, it would probably be a good idea to do a substitution. We know that sine over cosine is going to be tangent x. All right, so I've got two individual limits here. All right, now because we know that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is 1. This part is 1 automatically. So I'm going to have 1 times. Now, for the limit as x approaches 0 of tangent x, I just need to do a direct substitution here. So plugging in 0, I'm going to have tangent of 0. All right, tangent of 0 is 0. So I'm going to have 1 times 0, which gives me an overall limit of 0. So applying that property that we know and showing the correct algebraic steps to separate that limit, then you can justify an answer of zero. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.